Mitch, <laughs> thought it was maybe a bit disjointed first half. Um, don't know what you said at half time, but a little bit more fluent in the second half. Just felt we was a little bit, uh, again, not clinical, not as potent up front. Uh, also felt we was coasting. Thought we'd, as, as a squad, I thought we just thought we was going to turn up and, and win, relying on somebody else to do something. I uh, wasn't overly pleased. Um, give them a bit of a, you know, bit of a rollicking. Not, not major, just a couple of home truths as individuals. And wanted an improvement, and, and I think they did. I think they did. At times, we seemed to give the ball away needlessly, especially in the first half. That must have driven you mad at one point. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, you know, when you don't have Josh Walsh, Freddie Robertson, you know, on the pitch. But I still think uh, Reese Kelly played really well in possession. Joel Carr wasn't at his best today, you know, usually he's rocketing shots off, you know, causing havoc, but still still steady. Um, on another day it was more, but, you know, all, no disrespect to Bugbrook, because it's, it's a club that I love. You know, uh, I, I think they're decent. I, I, I don't think Harbour got out of third gear, second, third gear, you know, which is disappointing for me because, you know, I want to take everyone to the cleaners, especially at this, this point of the season. Um, so I was definitely disappointed in, in, our, in our rhythm and, and how fluid we was and, you know, our, our desperate need to score. I thought that was a, a disappointing thing for us. But it's three points and, you know, any way possible, we'll get the job done. Take away the uh, four saves, top, top saves that their man and being the sticks made, mm. then, you know, it could have been different as well. Yeah, Nance has come on, he had a couple of chances, the ball's gone through to, I think it was... Dan Cooper and his ways fall. There was three opportunities to score in about two minutes. And I was really disappointed. Again, it, we wasn't at our, our clinical best, uh, but defensively was, we were solid. Uh, I've got to give them a lot of credit for, for how they conducted themselves and got, got through the 90 minutes. Over the game, um, the reasoning between Josh Walsh not starting and some of the other lads, and it was good to see Sam Preston back as well. Keep everybody on their toes. You know, nobody, nobody, nobody is a, a given in my team. Everybody needs to understand that um, you might think you're playing well, or, or, or you could be playing well, but I, I've, got to, I've got to keep it fresh. I've also got to use my squad, and I've also got to test people's attitudes and, and mentality. You know, I don't want somebody being not in the squad and throwing his dummy out the pram. Um, because, as you can see, even without key personnel, we can still win football games. Um, it was just literally to keep the squad fresh as possible. We've got, we've got a bit of a steady run coming up and you know, I've got to keep everybody buzzing. You did say many months ago it was all about the, the team. That's, yeah. you know, it was all about the squad. It was about yeah. coming along for the ride. I remember that conversation. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, you know. if you don't, if you don't get part of it, that was cut no way. It was cut no way. And I remember it was a uh, Mooney. He didn't get a lot of minutes, and you have to have the right attitude when you're in and around it. And if you don't, then you won't be it. You know, and that's not being bullshit or big-headed or bully or anything like that. It's just how it work. I like to have everybody on side. I don't like anything lingering. Body language is massive to me. Massive. Uh, attitude is massive, you know, and then you've got ability, then you've got work rate, you know, and you need to tick all the boxes. You know? No successful team is just run with, with 10 players, you know. It's 11, it's a squad, it's subs, it's people outside the squad, it's people pushing people, you know, and if you deserve it, you'll play it. Sometimes you might think you don't and you won't be in, but that's, that's, the, that's the love of, that's the, why we love the game. Okay, Mitch, I think we'll leave it there and hopefully we'll see you on Tuesday.